Hello there. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be drawing a wine glass, a red wine glass. So a glass like this one. And then I'm going to be painting it in watercolor. Drawing complete. I can think about um, transferring it. What I'm going to do is turn it over and I can see the outline of my glass. And I'm going to just put pastel on it. I'm using a pink pastel. There's going to be red in the subject matter, so I don't mind if it's pink. If a little bit of pink pigment ends up on my drawing, that's all right. Okay. There's some bits that got missed, and I think there's just lumps on the page underneath. There, yeah. Okay. There. I'm just going to lift it up gently to check that I've covered everywhere with pastel. I just need that corner there. Okay. Tape down my paper, and I'll get a lovely little border. So I've done the drawing and now all I need to do is transfer it. So some of this um, pastel will end up on my watercolour page, but that's fine. So I'm going to place it slightly off to the right, like about there. I can see my tape underneath. So I've got a reasonable idea of where it's sitting. fractions now before I lift it up I'm holding it in place with this hand and I'm just going to double check that my drawing has come through and yes it has okay that means I am ready putting in some water and then I'm going to put some inside the glass Bring this water down a little bit and start with the green that swap brushes. Let me just go to a smaller brush to move that around on the inside.
Same down here. There will be a suggestion of a shadow. That's layer number one and I'm going to let that dry and then come back and make some um, adjustments uh, to it. Um, the colour, the colours that I've chosen, I think particularly the Mars Violet is doing the most divine granulating thing on this paper. Um, right. So some final adjustments to the painting. I'm going to use a piece of masking tape to create an edge. I'm going to place it on gently. Then I'm going to double check that it is um, horizontal and it needs to be lifted a little bit on the left. Right, then I'm going to run my finger along to ensure contact. Final check that it is horizontal, beautiful, and then make sure that that's beautifully contacted. I'm going to use a flat brush, turn it into a thirsty brush, and wet it and remove the excess moisture, and then just take off a little bit of paint, coming right up. To the edge of the glass there. 
Rinse it again. Back and forth. Wet it again. Move a little bit more and I'm going to grab a tissue and just make sure it's all coming off. Then I'm going to take the tape off and I've created a suggested edge of the tabletop. And I think I'm done. Uh, I might take off a little bit more over here. Just make it a tiny bit lighter. Tiny bit lighter there.
Okay, I think it's ready for signing. I've got my favourite signing brush. It's a little tiny liner brush. And I've got a little test piece of paper here. You can see there I've been um, practicing on another painting, just signing my name carefully. And I like to just have a little look at the tone and that the brush is flowing the way I want it to. And is this the color I want to sign it in? No, it's not. I'm going to get rid of that. <clears throat> moisture, dip into the red. Okay, let's see how it looks with a strong pure red. Oh, fantastic, how would that look? Good, okay, I'm just going to turn it slightly on its side, to move my water glass to do that, slightly on its side, <clears throat> so I can sign my name here. Marion Chapman. Okay, I'm done. I'm pretty happy with that. That'll do anyway. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. Write any comments. I really appreciate any feedback. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.